Why would someone have a hundred thousand SIM cards and cellular radios on shelves in their apartment? The SIM farm. You can get these special purpose devices that have a bunch of antennas on a bunch of slots and you can plug in 128 all the way up to like 512 SIM cards in there and you can have all of those radios active at once. But somebody sent a bad text or made some bad calls or did something to a politician that would raise the Secret Service's eyebrows. What you're describing where you get a hundred thousand of them, the most likely thing is that somebody was just offering a text service or something. Somebody that that went to the lengths of buying all those boxes, all those SIM cards, punching them out, sticking them on. And there's a few reasons why somebody would do that. Some legitimate, some not legitimate. And you've got 30,000 or 50,000 or however many of these, you know, active numbers. And you can handle a lot of API requests to send text messages. All those services sending out coupons. We have an option with your Speedify account to use SMS as a 2FA. And we pay some service to send a text with the code. Right. Maybe it is somebody with a box full of modems. Could be. So the Secret Service made it sound like this was some unprecedented threat. We've never seen such an operation. And even I figured out that's because the FBI handles this sort of wire fraud kind of cases. They even said this was all within 35 miles of the UN. Now, of course, I grew up in New York, so I know that 35 miles of the UN includes an awful lot of potato farms (laughs) out on Long Island, (laughs) down in Jersey, right? In New York, 35 miles, that is a long way away. So assuming that somebody sent harassing texts to a politician, how would they track this down? I mean, if you're going to fill your apartment with 50,000 radios and SIM cards, New York's probably a good spot to do it because depending on what floor you're on, they could probably scan the horizon and see 50 different towers. They can pick what networks they're on. This I want on T-Mobile on this band, and this one should be on AT&T on this band. It actually was spread across a bunch of apartments throughout the New York area. It wasn't one apartment, which makes me think that they were paying people who live in apartments to host this stuff, which given the New York rent, I think makes sense. I think I would be tempted (laughs) to do anything I can to try to lower that rent by hosting some weird box and not asking too many questions, right? What's the worst that could happen? It's not like Secret Service is going to bust down your door one day. Probably pretty easy to put on an on Craigslist and get a bunch of people to take you up on it. Yeah. We have a lot more tech discussions on our channel, so subscribe.